Hey buddy, it's Victor. It's time to the run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repent series. Happy Thursday, Mosh Pit. We did have another video across 3,000 likes like I knew you guys and gals would do. So we're sitting at 142 over 150 now, almost one week away. Worth of like street gold tallies anyway. We're getting to the next like street gold, worst ranked tier list items run, which I know that a lot of people are starting to get hyped for. It's like I said earlier, you know, it's when we get down to like the single digits on the like street counter, people start getting really, really amped and I'm starting to get pumped and also uh, starting to get nervous because I know that it's going to be a fun time for everyone except for me. <laughs> it's your meme of the day. Or they sent in by Mr. New title thread was I drew sin performing on stage. This one might be a little bit hard to see because of the shading on it, or I guess lack of shading uh, with the paper, but I did like everything about this, the pose and like, it just looks so metal and so cool. And just like a lot of, there's a lot of, a lot of good vibes in this one, you know, and it's it's it was definitely done with a lot of care and love. So thank you very much, Mr. New. Go check out the full resolution on the Sinvicta subreddit if you want to go check that one out as well. Let's hop on into today's Eden run. We got ourselves a Genesis start again. Sierra 302 Alpha 16 Whiskey. I mean, I say again, but like it, it's been a little bit since we started with Genesis, I guess, but like how many times are we going to start with Genesis? Like, seriously, I'm, I'm not complaining at all. Like, this is great because obviously we don't want Abel. Um, it's just a matter of like how and when do we use Genesis? Do we use it on depths one? Do we use it now? Well, obviously you don't want to use it now because it would be a, it would be a horrible, horrible, horrible waste of a big, big item if you used it so early on. So if you don't know what Genesis does by now, first off, what are you doing? And secondly, uh, Genesis is going to re-roll our entire run and give us three items for every item that we, well, that we had before we used Genesis. It is extremely powerful whenever you're talking about taking a bad run or a mediocre run and turning it into something that's actually like, you know, workable and winnable. Um, and it's just overall just a fantastic item. It's it's the best re-roll that you can get because you can get targeted re-rolls. Um, we did the all Genesis run and that was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, again, that was kind of a riff of the, uh, which eventually led to the, the uh, Lemegiton runs and stuff. And just being able to control the amount of items that you get uh, and which items you get is, is really, really cool. Now, obviously, the blind Genesis run is something different. Like, that's, if, you, if you miss that Wacky Wednesday, you're, you're definitely missing out. So we get, get Latchkey here. I wouldn't mind getting a bomb for that, um, for that Tended Rock, but... I think it's going to happen. We could go into the item, into the uh, curse room real fast. Man, we should just blast through this first floor here, thanks to, uh, mostly in part to our very good tears rate, but not great damage. Genesis helping us, or sorry, Gemini helping us out a bit. I thought that we were on the, I thought we were on the lower demon there, not the higher demon. This feels like a mini boss room. I don't know why. And it was just gas, apparently, so. Okay. All right, and we're not going to play the sack room. Obviously, we don't have enough HP to do so. We have no way of getting into the secret room. We have no way of getting into the uh, into the uh, tinted rock. Check it just in case. So this is unfortunately not going to happen, but at least we have a good start here. And again, we can undo any bad items that we've gotten so far uh, with Genesis. Yeah, I might as well go check it in. But maybe we'll get a key or a bomb or something here. Well, we did get our key back, so no harm, no foul. Of darkness and uh, we get Ver varicose veins which is not a great item but it's also not worth using one of our soul hearts for currently uh again obviously we are going to get rid of uh we're going to get rid of all this stuff including zodiac and everything once we use genesis it looks like we do have taurus for the zodiac uh item on this floor Taurus is going to slowly ramp up into eventually our movement speed will get to 2.0. When that happens, we will be uh, invincible, be able to deal with damage for a short time. But Taurus is pretty bad because obviously the biggest part of it is going to be the huge movement speed down that you get whenever you acquire it. And even though technically speaking, we didn't ever pick up Taurus, we still have it thanks to Zodiac, which is uh, always not always not a great time. And kind of the reason why I don't like Zodiac too is just because it's honestly just due to Taurus. Like the, the the drastic movement speed down that you that you get out of nowhere, it can really be detrimental to a run, especially if you have low damage. We don't really technically have low damage, I would say, in this run, but our DPS 
Our DPS is is serviceable only because of, of our tears rate, not our damage per shot. Our deep, that, that's a different DPS. Oh, yeah, this, this movement speed, the, the fluctuation, of the movement speed's really rocking us right now. I will say that uh, currently we are looking at a situation where we may we may get rid of our items sooner than we thought. Um, especially if we get into the dangerous rangers. Right now, we cannot stop taking damage. And again, that movement speed down is just... It, it is... It, it's detrimental. You got to be careful. Certainly didn't help things. We do get a bomb, so we are going to be able to get to Varicose Veins along with getting uh, into the secret room, which is not here because obviously it's being blocked by pots. I'm pretty sure it's right there. Uh, I just got to go for, again, another confirmation. Yeah, it's right here. Come back and get it in a second. You use this well let's not use this final bomb yet don't ever use your final bomb until you know for sure you don't need it okay since we know that there's no stone chest in here we obviously got our bomb back anyway now we can use a bomb to gain access to varicose veins obviously varicose veins is not the whole point of this the whole point of doing that is to get another item to re-roll with genesis and currently sitting on four items one of them is an eternal item so it's not going to count unfortunately um yeah, we would only we would only get to roll through nine items, and none of them are really from a good like item pool. So <clears throat> I think that if you go Genesis, you almost exclusively have to go for Angel deals. I think that Angel deals are a very smart move uh, when you're talking about Genesis, because getting those getting those targeted re rolls with with um, Genesis for the Angel pool is really powerful. Wouldn't mind getting uh, jumper cables, actually. And it a little, a little, a little bit fast and loose right now, but that's because I want to. Again, I'm just trying to maximize the amount of items that we can get with Genesis, and getting, uh, getting jumper cables would be nice. I'm also really surprised that the super secret room is not there. I feel it's probably out off the edge of that room or possibly even this room to the left there. We know it's not to the right of here because then we'll be adjacent to a room and that's that goes directly against uh, the rules of the super secret room. It's going to be old Dookie. Now, Dookie is weak enough to where if we do happen to trigger uh, Taurus, we'll be able to run right into him and just plow him right over. So regular non-champion Duke ain't too bad. Let's see our movement speed continuing to climb over there culminates in this and then we just run them over like i said we get binky which is gonna give us the tears up and again i'm gonna stick to my stick to my guns here and only go for angel deals since we are on uh on a genesis start <clears throat> i think maximizing the value of genesis also kind of it is important with just getting getting those targeted items being able to get multiple angel items to choose from is just so it's just so powerful like it, it it's almost Priceless, I would say. Um, I'm not going to go in the curse room here because I don't want to get... There's two reasons. First off, we don't have a whole lot of HP. Secondly, I don't want to accidentally get taken into uh, the devil deal when I'm not trying to. And we're going for angel deals here. We could use a bomb to try to blow up those pots. I don't think that's really worth it. We might need this bomb for something else on the next floor. Just a little bit tedious going back and forth here. I know, I know. We're we're still gonna go, we're gonna we're gonna go all the way back to the secret room, get that half heart, go back to the temperance machine, tap it one more time, and then get uh, jumper cables. We're gonna be happy that we did so. Like th this is all about investing your time wisely, and uh, you know, again, maximizing the items that you're given in a run is very important. Um, Genesis is one that you're gonna want to. It, it's it's an item that you're gonna you're gonna get the value that you invest into it back most of the time <laughs> not all the time sometimes you can actually you can get kind of hosed and you just get basically no good items from from genesis but it's very rare that that happens though i mean like on a very very odd occasion where you don't get at least a at least a side grade of a run i'd be real mad if this was a penny in here yeah. maybe not real mad but would have been slightly annoyed so all right all right all right all right, all right. So we need to get some damage here for the most part. We are still looking okay, but uh, that's going to quickly quickly turn here soon. We 
go on over to last week's question of the episode, which actually was uh, it was eaten by the YouTube algorithm and then re it was replaced by my same comment. It was really weird. Uh, anyway, but shout out to uh, Robbie, Robbie Jones, who actually uh, took up the first call of of uh, the new the new initiative. Whenever you hear the question of the day, but you don't see one of my comments, um, if someone from the Mosh Pit could repost it for me, I'd appreciate it. And I'll just pin that one uh, whenever I get up or whenever I see the video. And uh, it was uh, simply, what is your favorite on hit tier effect in the game? As we try not to die in this room, because you know this room is just. If it, whenever you have whenever you have bad damage, but you also have clown physics going on, it's, it's you're gonna have a bad time. I don't know what we triggered in terms of uh, in terms of Zodiac, but it doesn't look. Oh no, it, it is Pisces. Yeah. Okay. So that's what was making the clown physics go even more clown physics physicsier. Uh, but anyway, the question of the day was, what is your favorite on hit tier effect? Shout out to uh, Robbie Jones once again for posting that comment of the episode from last week. And the number one most upvoted comment was, I feel like nobody talks about how powerful booger tears and sinus infection tears are. The DPS potential is crazy. That was sent in by age, I'm going to say age CK on me diviny 3081. I'm just going to say age. Uh, so thank you, age. Yeah, I mean, you know, sinus infection, the DPS upgrade that you get from... The DPS effect that you get from the, the constant source of just like the dot damage on the uh on the booger tiers is truly powerful and the fact that they they will scale with your damage is also really magical so i agree with you on that i wouldn't say that they're my favorite on hit tier effect i think that my favorite on hit tier effect would probably probably go to holy light um dead eye is up there too man but there's something about it's 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 really close between for me uh, jacob's ladder or holy light for on hit tier effect i think that pound for pound i think that holy light is stronger than jacob's ladder but jacob's ladder obviously is like every tier so it's not like an it's not an actual proc effect um but uh, yeah thank you very much to age and then the next highly voted uh upvoted comment from last week's was third times a charm 84 who said answer the one that makes sin play more greed mode thank you third times a charm uh i don't know what tier not sure what tier effect that is, but yeah. So, and then finally, uh, <laughs> finally, the third most upvoted comment was from uh, Jacob Digby, uh, 9822, who said, Little Horn, watching the hand come up and snatch enemies or smack, smack, smack a boss is satisfying. Totally with you on that one, Jacob. I think that Little Horn is also one of the best uh, on hit tier effects that you can get. We have double pills, so. Pill. Gain speed, but lost range. Gained HP, but lost speed. And then it's double paralysis. All right. Fantastic. This is yellow champion mega fatty. This is not a good fight for us. I don't even really care that Abel shot that barrel because the idea, the, the prospect of us hitting champion mega fatty with one of the barrels without being able to move the barrel is just rough. Plus, Again, he is yellow champion, so we got to be careful of his movement speed and his attack speed is really ridiculous. This is not a good fight for us. Not sure why he's going after Abel, but hey, it's, it's better better Abel than us, that's for sure. Okay, so we got through there. No angel deal, unfortunately, and we're just going to get a regular old basic HP upgrade. Could go all the way back to the secret or to the curse room, but I'll pass. So up to a 67% chance for an angel deal now, and... Uh, Wow, the, the length of the schmoov that had to happen for that spider to hit us is really incredible. And also, again, you're seeing the downside of getting Taurus. And, uh, yeah, that movement speed down is really rough. So the mystery egg is going to give us at least one of the skitterers who will be moving at Mach 7 across the floor here. But, you know, it does damage. And also, we get the spiders. So, you know, 
just going to run into things until they die, so. Hell, why not at this point? Alright, there we go. Got a huge amount of tears down. Um, good. I don't know how many uh, retrovisions we got as well, but yeah, obviously none of that matters because we are going to use Genesis. So I don't really care too much about the, the stats down and everything. If anything, it just shows you like how like not worth golden pills are unless you have PhD or Virgo or just in general, like how not worth pills are in general. But I think everyone pretty much knew that already. Still looking for the item room and the store. We can bomb our way into the bomb our way into the boss trap room here which will potentially give us another item that we can use the emperor card it's gonna give us a much needed movement speed now i know that we haven't gone into the item room yet we're going to it's just a matter of like you know getting there first and currently our objective here is to hopefully get an angel deal now if we get hosed on the angel deal we're gonna be not happy because what that does is that directly screws our value with uh, Genesis pretty badly. Because you got to remember, like, had we already gotten an angel deal by now, we would have gotten, and we get one here, that would be two. That's essentially six angel deal items that we can roll through in Genesis. Potentially. Some people have said that, the, that my assessment of Genesis is wrong and that the items don't share the loot table, but I've seen the contrary. I haven't used Genesis many, 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 many times. But it could be wrong, you know. Isaac is an ever-changing game, even though they say that they're done updating it, and then they come out with new updates. So who knows, man? Isaac is a live service game. We do get an HP upgrade again, and we do finally get ourselves a, an angel deal. We can't actually trigger the uh, angel statue. But we at least make up another passive item here for us, along with the uh, speed up that we got from Caffeine Pill in the boss trap room. So we're doing, we're, we're catching up on the amount of items that we're supposed to be having at this time, normally anyway. Just missing one or two, uh, one or two extra items from the Angel Deals. Of course, it's going to help us out here as we, again, have to go make our way back over to the item room. I don't know if you noticed this or not, but our damage is awful. Um, even with having just gotten Stigmata, we need to get something bigger here. And uh, whether that's going to be through Genesis or just temporarily from a boss, I mean, who knows? Like, I, I, I don't. <laughs> Hopefully soon, as we get Evil Eye, which is not a damage upgrade. Seek is going to be to the right of there, I think. Oh, never mind. I was thinking of the... Uh, Regular secret room, but we've already been in there. Super secret room is most likely not going to be on this side of the map, and that's okay. Keep on moving. So curse the XL. Now we've really been kind of hosed on the value that we that potentially had here with Genesis and uh, Angel Deals. Because now we've been robbed of at least one. So that puts a greater emphasis on us getting to boss rush and getting an extra item. But now the problem is that with XL floors, especially with Synvict Navigation, the likelihood of us getting to boss rush on time and also finding the Tinted Skull we can get out of there is going to be uh lessened now what we could potentially do is we could just use genesis to get out of the boss rush and then go straight to womb one we've done that before in fact i think we did it 
actually the last time that we had Genesis. Uh, but that being said, I'd rather get, you know, as many Angel Deal items as possible. Because right now, this run is, is absolute garbage. Um, the Golden Pill, with the stats down and everything, combined with the fact that we've gotten only one damage upgrade up to this point, is uh, really, really, really bad. I'm hoping that, I mean, Genesis, let's put it this way. Genesis can't possibly make this run worse. And yes, I'll put my seal of approval on that statement. I know, I know, it seems like I'm, I'm playing with fire, but Genesis literally, I don't think could make this run any worse. It would be, it would be a shock to see that happen. Wow, we actually found the boss, but again, it doesn't, that's only half of the equation here because we need to find the Tinted Skull as well, unless if we're willing to use Genesis to get out of there, out of boss rush, which I am not right now because we still need to at least find the other item room. Yeah, this this room right here is a great indicator to to sorely demonstrate how badly we are hurting on damage. There's a there's a very good chance that we don't make boss rush here. Unless if we get lucky and we find the tinted skull in this next room, I don't think it's going to happen because again, we still we not only do we have to fight mom, we still have to fight another boss beforehand, so and that is the downside, one of the, one of the many downsides of Curse of the Labyrinth is, fortunately, the size of it. And if you're trying to save time, if you're trying to uh, you're trying to get to boss rush and you just don't quite have the resources to get there, it can be really, really bad. Unless you have mapping. If you have mapping, then you probably don't care. Boss rush is not happening. It's it it, it it would have literally had to have been in this in that last room for us to have a chance, so And we don't have enough we don't have enough money to get into the store and really buy things. See and, and right here, this is another reason why I, I don't like Mystery Egg, is because the game doesn't really do a good job at showing you which mobs are what. I know that they animate little hearts and stuff around them, but whenever you see something pop up right next to you, in Isaac, your instinct is to just simply dodge. And that's the biggest problem that we have, that I have anyway, with uh, the mystery egg, is the fact that it, much like Abel, it's whatever, whatever shots happen and stuff, it doesn't do a good enough job differentiating between a friendly and unfriendly shot or projectile to make a difference to the point where it's like, oh, I can stand still here and actually dodge the real incoming shots. You may inadvertently dodge into an oncoming enemy shot by mistakenly dodging from a, a friendly shot. So uh, since boss rush is off the table, we need to go find the store. Now, especially that we've gotten enough money to at least buy a premium item in there. And we know that it's going to be at least a good store because we've just fought greed and we know that well, there's not going to be a greed fight in there. And who knows? Maybe Mama Meg is in there. Maybe it, maybe it can turn around. But right now, man, this is uh, this is this is a rough existence. This is a run where we're definitely happy that we have Genesis. Let's put it that way. We are we are sorely lacking in the in the offense department here. So the goal, assuming that we don't die and get to the womb one boss is to fight womb one go through everything maybe hopefully get an angel deal unless we get really really screwed that would be that would be triply screwed if we get another xl floor on the next floor then like the game is just is just messing with us uh at that point we would use genesis and uh and then go to womb two but if it gives us an xl floor then uh, like we, I mean, we pretty much rip it and then the, the run just ends basically. Whether by way of me being incredulous or, you know, or the fact that we don't have the Polaroid or the negative to go to the right spot, so. Actually, no, I take that back. We, we would have, we, we would technically have the Polaroid. I'm telling you right now, this is not a run that we're gonna take a victory lap on. I would have to use Genesis now in order to, to determine that. And this is not a victory lap run currently. I... You're just looking for the shop here, game. Face of clubs. 
Looking for that tienda. On the name of getting value out of Genesis, because gave us next elf. As I look for a crawl space. The golden key. Yeah, and, and by the way, we still have not seen the uh the tinted skull either, so Yeah. Yeah. Boss rush was never gonna happen. And there is only one passive item in here. Take that. Take pay to play. I'm going to bomb this to hopefully mi Hopefully maybe get a nickel so we could uh, buy an extra key or something. But uh, I was not trying to blow up my donation machine. But the random scatter bombs from Nancy Bombs had something else to say about that. All right. This is just a this is just a circus today. Thursday circus in the mosh pit. I mean, if we didn't have Genesis, like this run would be legendarily awful. It already kind of is, but not the worst run of all time. I'll take this run over TM Trainer or Boros Worm any day. I'll take this run a million times before I play that TM Trainer run again. I mean it. You couldn't, you could not pay me enough to play that run again. Seriously. Train enough tea in China. We get Pageant Boy. Pageant Boy. You can keep that money. Yeah, this Horf here also represents another reason why what I was just talking about when it comes to the mystery egg is that like the, the mobs that spawn from the mystery egg will, will actively shoot at Isaac. Despite us being like on the same team. And yeah, that's a big problem. Our shot speed is just really bumming me out we must have gotten multiple shot speed downs from that golden pill we're not even halfway done with mom uh, i may i may not have enough patience to go through womb one with this awful run and just rip genesis we may not even get oh we have virgo I wish I would have known that. We could have taken some pills. All right. Almost halfway done with Monk. Here we go. We're not, by the way, we're not getting an angel deal. We're, we're going to get hit. We have not done enough damage for me to stay safe and dodge indefinitely here. Not sure why that, not sure why that mulligan exploded up there, but. Here we go. All right. All right. 25%. Rock and roll. Drug old bus. Here we go. 25%. Yep. Ten percent. All right. Here we go. Depths two.
Five percent. Rock and roll. Wow. This run is uh this run is what we like to call wow bad. I don't know, y'all. I'm not sure if I have the patience to to go through another floor with this build. If we get, if I mean, like, we're not gonna get another angel deal item. Like, if we weren't gonna get one there, even though I clutched it and didn't get hit with any uh, red heart damage against mom, we're not going to make it through wound one. There's there is a there is a zero percent chance unless we find a soul heart like now, and even then, I don't know, but. Those of you who've been waiting for a struggle bus run, well, here you go. We have no bombs. Okay. At least we have some hearts there. At least we won't die. Uh, I don't know what Zodiac sign we got. Doesn't appear to be anything that's anything that's recognizable anyway, as we take our Guarantee the damage. Ah, it's a cancer item. Okay. That's actually pretty good. So we will be able to at least survive through this floor, maybe. It's really tough to see where Isaac is when he's this small. Okay, there's our double hearts. Keep that key. Nothing, nothing, nothing that happens on this floor is going to matter outside of us dying, which I'm not even going to say is like out of the realm of pos a possibility. Did we just get blown over that gap? Because I'm pretty sure we just did. And we don't have flying. When Abel is doing more damage than Isaac, you know you're in a lot of trouble. And there is a, a sadistic part of me that slightly wants to reject Genesis here. But I've also kind of had a rough day today and I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to be doing this. I would, I would much prefer to be doing anything else than continuing the run as it is currently. Anyway. Not saying that I can't do it, but if I don't have to, if I have a way out, I'm going to take that out today. It, is, it has been one of those days, unfortunately. Now, what would make me happy is if we had a really, really good Genesis roll into like an R key or something, and then we just redo this run. Now, that would be fun. I will not take part in this run. I refuse. You can take my eternal heart. I don't care. All right. We're, we're almost ready, everyone. We're not going to get a devil deal. We're not going to get an angel deal. That's to be expected. But we are going to use Genesis after this Skull X fight. Which will be done by Christmas, I think. It'll be done by the time the weather starts cooling off. Let's put it that way. Just next to never. Got a decent hit with scatter bombs anyway. Finally killed the diglet. Horse papers, and now we finally get to use Genesis. Oh boy, Genesis! I mean, we've only gotten, we've only got sixteen items. We started with one, and I'm not including the Polaroid. So, Genesis, this is your time. 
You've always been a big time player and a clutch uh, a clutch MVP All Star on this team. It's time for you to do it again. I'm once again asking for your assistance to do it again on the next floor. All right, here we go. Well, first off, we're going to let, we're just going to get in the bed right now, just because that's three extra soul hearts that we can get. And of course, we start with experimental treatment. Um, you know, my favorite item. So we've got stigmata or blood of the martyr. We've got blood of the martyr, thinking shears, and magneto. I think we're just going to go blood of the martyr here. Our dam our base damage is not bad. Our tears rate is awful. Everything else is okay though. We need some tears, and we're going to get some tears. Yo, got the stapler. I'm going to stick with teleport. I'm going for charm tears, I guess. Red stew is just going to be wasted, but I guess we can take it. I don't want pentagram here. Ooh. This is going to be more tears. Booster pack. I guess booster pack. A nine volt would be not bad for teleport, actually. The joker card first devil is a bible take the joker card here i'm gonna take the nine volt we are wasting a lot of uh we are wasting a lot of our red stew but again that was just going to happen so we still i mean we just have to take tears here um as much as i would love to take damage we still need more tears our shot speed is actually okay i'm gonna go for sty Growth hormones here. We get Halo, which is going to be an all stats up. Any mush? Okay. Let's not waste this uh, this red stew. So was it worth it? Uh, yes. The answer is yes. It was worth it. Of course, it was worth it. Oh my goodness. I know we got an angel deal, and I'm fine with that, but the bigger news is the fact that we got a free crown of light. But yeah, so it I mean at the end of at the end of the day it was worth it. I appreciate the people who can appreciate that I was like strongly consider I, I was considering just trying to tough it out, but that that run was just awful. I don't think it would have been a good viewer experience. <laughs> And it definitely wouldn't have been a good a good Sinvicta experience for me. But if you'd like to see how tough this uh, this run was on your own, then by, by all means, play this seat. Genesis once again coming through in the clutch. Being the MVP big time player that we all know it can be. Proven to be time and time again. And I'd really like to capitalize on this red stew while we have Crown of Light uh, still active here. Now, obviously, I didn't play the uh, Demon Judgment because I don't want to deactivate Crown of Light at all. All right. So there is the north, east, and west side of the map, everybody. You know that this is the right way to go because it's the only way to go. But Genesis, you know, it just it just proves it just shows you how important it is to get value where you know you have to. And uh, I don't want to get hyper analytical about it because like it's it, it to me it's obvious. It's like yeah, of course you want to get the most value you can out of your out of your items. Like that's not genius level commentary there, but. Sometimes pointing out the obvious is important for people because they don't realize that like like if when that when this run was going bad at the start and was like really really awful by the time we got that curse the XL I think most people probably would have just ripped it right then and there instead of trying to tough it out and and eke out just a little bit more value But like I said the the proof is in the pudding whenever whenever you get whenever you do get Genesis and you do end up investing like hardcore into the value 
that you can get out of it, it always pays off. Like, Genesis always pays off. 2020 and, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty good. 2020 plus Crown of Light plus Charm Tears now on Jacob's Ladder. So for those of you uh, who skipped ahead in this run, you're thinking, like, how come he just went to Blue Baby? Such a powerful run, you could have done a victory lap. I could have gotten, like, 20 more minutes of Isaac. Well, you probably should go back and watch the first 30 minutes of this video, at least, because uh, it was it was a struggle bus of epic proportions. But we got through it, and that's okay. So thank you for watching, everyone. Today's question of the episode is going to be, would you have stuck it out with Genesis? I know we've had a couple of Genesis-related questions, but this one is tailor-made to this episode. When in this run would you have actually used Genesis? Would you have used it on that XL floor? Would you have used it at the beginning? Would you have used it further on? Would you have gone to a victory lap? Let me know in the comments down below. Again, the top voted comments get read on next week's episode. And thank you all very much for supporting the channel. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank the patrons of mine like Barman1988, Watts, Callan, Canstony, and Ravenwolf45. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.